Hi, this is Warren with Bead Buster. In this video, I'm going to go through step by step the process of changing the tire and show you what tools you'll need to do this yourself. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a side by side tire. This is a 27 inch tire on a 12 inch rim. Now, no matter what kind of tire you're changing, the steps in the process are the same, whether it's a side by side, ATV, garden tractor, trailer, car, you name it. First thing you're going to need is a valve stem wrench. Now this wrench allows you to remove the guts out of the valve core. That takes the pressure out of the tire and makes sure the pressure stays at zero the whole time we're working with the tire. The other thing you're going to need is some kind of a spray lube. Now some people do use soapy water or WD-40. However, tire mount lubricant does work a little bit better. Bead Buster sells a paste that you can mix with water so that you can spray it. It's very effective. You're also going to need tire spoons. Now some people like to use large screwdrivers or pry bars for this task, but tire spoons work a little better and I'll tell you why. The tips on these tire spoons are specially shaped for this job and the edges are all rounded so that it won't scratch the rim while you're prying the bead up and over. You're also going to need a bead breaker. Now there are a lot of different bead breakers available today. The Bead Buster is very small, portable, and powerful. The design is patented and the way this works it actually applies a force with these feet directly against the bead bundle inside the tire. That's why it's so effective. All these tools are available at BeadBuster.com. The first step in the process is to remove the valve stem guts. We can use a valve wrench like this. The next step in the process is to break the tire bead. As you can see from this sectioned tire, we're going to be pushing the bead in to the drop center in the rim. Now in the case of side-by-side -side and ATV tires, these rims have a bead retainer right here, which makes it really, really difficult to push the bead bundle in. This can also be a problem if you have old steel rims and the rim and the tire almost get welded together. Okay, now we're going to apply the bead breaker. This is where the spray lube really helps out. We want to make sure the sidewall is heavily lubricated to help us get these feet jammed in between the rim and the sidewall. I can use the handle on the tool to get the feet started. Then I'm going to, have to tighten up the clamp bolt. We can use a cordless impact, or a powered ratchet, a hand tool. No matter what you got, it'll all work just fine. Now that the tool is fully installed, the body tube is in contact with the edge of the rim and the tool is perpendicular to the rim. Now I'm going to drive the ramp down. So this broke the bead at this part of the tire only. Now I'm going to move the tool over three or four inches and repeat the process. This tire was pretty easy. It didn't put up much of a fight. Some tires you might have to move it a third and fourth time to get the bead broken all the way around. Now to do the other side. Apply some spray lube, push down on the handle of the tool, tighten up the clamp, Once again, the bead has been broken in this spot only. I'm going to move the tool over and reapply it.
Looks like a third application is needed on this tire. That got it. The bead is broken on this side. Now that we have the bead broken on both sides of the tire, now we're going to use the tire spoons to remove the tire from the rim. It's important to always start with the side closest to the drop center. As you can see inside this rim, it's all smooth and flat for quite a distance in, whereas there's a step here. Same with this side-by-side -side tire. This side's flat. So that lets me know the drop center is closer to this side of the rim. So we're going to pull the tire off this way. So we need this side of the bead to drop down into that drop center there while we're prying on the bead bundle on the opposite side. Okay, now we're going to apply the tire irons to pull the bead up over the rim. Now that we're going to do the second side, we really want this whole bead bundle completely lubricated before we do this. It's going to make it so much easier. So to do that, I'm going to hit it with a spray lube, make it a mess of course. And I'll take my hand and drag it all the way around the tire. Now also spray the rim as well. so that the rim and the tire are both completely lubed. Now this part right here, we're going to put the drop center on the bead bundle on one side. We're going to pry it out on this side. I'm going to set it on the floor for this. Okay, now to remove the rim from the tire. As I said before, we're going to put the one side of the bead bundle down in this drop center. So I'm going to use a tire spoon just enough to get this up and out. That's all there is to it. So we got the tire off. In this case, I'm just going to put the same tire back on, but you are hopefully installing a new tire. Same rules apply here. We want to start with the side that's closest to the drop center. I'm going to start with this side. Step one is to put a lot of lube on the rim and also the tire. We're just going to shove the rim down into the tire. Okay, side one's in, flip it over. So the next step in the process is getting the bead over this side of the rim. In order to do that, we need to pull the bead down into the drop center on this side of the rim. That means we need this bead right here to sit right in that drop center. I could hold it down with my knee, or I can take the bead breaker tool and install it and have it hold the bead bundle down in place for me. So I'm going to do that.
Now that I've got the tool in place, as this bead bundle slides forward, it's going to drop right into this drop center on the rim. Now I'll flip it around and use the tire spoons. in. I'll remove the tool. Now we're ready for air.